it's Dr. Rick with a Sunday Q&A and uh, I just finished up a couple rounds at Mount Hoy. You can't see it from here, it's back there. But this is uh, Blackwell Forest Preserve in Winfield. So Sunday Q&A, got three questions. First question is about probiotics. Second question is about possible COVID uh, exposure. Third question is about abnormal MRI showing um, ischemic changes of the brain. Probiotics, should you take them? Yes. In fact, I have a protocol. But probiotics, I think, are very important for weight loss, uh, for IBS, for having a good mi gut microbiome, and also for mood. So, my usual rules are four. Number one would be that you should pick a probiotic that has at least four billion CFU. CFU is colony forming units and uh, that's just a measurement on the back of the bottle. Four billion at the least. More if you can. It would be you have to have at least four different bacterias. Uh, so on the label again, if you read it, you'll have a list of different bacterias that compose the probiotic supplements. I don't like spending too much money, uh, but I think that most decent probiotics would be about 20, maybe low 30s. I wouldn't go past 40. It's 40 dollars or less per bottle. And uh, usually a bottle should last you four months. Those are the four rules for picking a probiotic. The second question is COVID exposure. So I think that because everybody's congregating, uh, because we're getting out more, even though I think the majority of places in Illinois are practicing social distancing. So I have a feeling that if the riots happened last week, you add two weeks, because it takes about two weeks for a COVID infection to take hold and show, manifest. If we make it past June uh, 23rd, oh, Father's Day, I, I think we're, we're safe. You still should practice uh, social distancing. You still should be wearing masks where the rules say you have to wear masks. Uh, but uh, let's start prepping for the winter COVID flare-up, which there might not be one. Maybe there will be, I'm not sure, but if we practice for it, the same crap that we do to prepare for COVID will be the same stuff that we do to prepare for a heart attack, for a stroke, for cancer. So the healthy lifestyle, manifest it, turn it on. A third question was, uh, I had a lady that got an MRI of her brain. I was looking for a bleed, looking for a crack. We didn't have that, but we happen to have ischemic changes. Now, uh, those are ischemic changes are changes when you kind of choke off the blood supply to an organ, the brain, uh, or it could be the heart and the kidneys. But when you choke off a blood supply temporarily, you might have some scarring. And in an MRI that, of the brain that shows ischemic changes, it can be considered normal in a middle-aged person. But if this middle-aged person happens to have a history of Parkinson's disease or Alzheimer's disease in the family, dementia, essentially, it would be important to try to reverse that crap that you see that might have caused the ischemia. So it can be considered normal in an average American. It can be considered normal in a 70-year-old. The question would be, if you have a history in the family, do you get uh, more aggressive with preventive? I say, yeah, you have to get aggressive regardless. So even if you don't have a history of uh, dementia, degenerative changes in the family, you still have to manifest health. And that means trying to get some really refreshing sleep, trying to have a stress neutralizing activity, trying to have a whole food, maybe plant-based diet, or at least a conscious effort to eat properly, and then trying to get some exercise in. Exercise to me, is not walking. I think it's important to find your groove, whether it's the exercise, the nutrition, uh, the stress busting activity, or the restorative sleep. It's important to do all that stuff because you wind up having some neurodegenerative disorder or a heart attack or a stroke or cancer, you'll be so remiss. And then when you do find that or when your doctor does find it, it'll be like last minute scramble to fix things. Don't wait till last minute. In fact, I don't like people just waiting to their wellness exam to say, do I have to do anything? Do something ahead of time. Ischemic changes can be uh, likened to irritation of the endothelial lining 
for all the blood vessels. Think of it that way. If you have problems with irritation to the lining of a big blood vessel, it's obvious. You have calcium deposits, you might spasm the blood vessel, and then you'll have uh, whatever that blood vessel happens to supply as far as an organ, that organ's going to die. But if you have uh, damage to that football field of capillaries, which is more profuse than did the big aorta, that too will cause damage to all the organ systems, including the brain, and the kidneys, and the heart, and the fingers, and the nerves everywhere else. So it's important to try to manifest very little damage to the endothelial lining. And the endothelial lining, the meaning the lining of the capillaries, the blood vessels, the aorta, the veins, they all depend on very slippery coating. You have to avoid things that irritate, like tobacco, like heavy hits of glucose, like insulin uh, spiking foods, like high triglyceride foods, like preservatives, like chemicals. So if you have all that stuff in your lifestyle, try to get rid of it. Even if you don't feel anything, it's not going to be good for you in the long run. If you don't know what is bad, then you should get to your doctor to get some education. Or look it up and start reading. There's a lot of great authors that are out there that offer books. Books are boring, but they do help you sleep at night. Uh, but you have to learn. You have to empower yourself because if all you rely on is blood tests and an annual, uh, unfortunately my colleagues, uh, the, the healthcare system is not built for that. The healthcare system is built for picking up the pieces and fixing the damage. And uh, preventive, no, but uh, taking care of damaged goods, yeah, but usually the root cause, you'll be more damaged goods in the near future. So bottom line is whether it's COVID, probiotics, or ischemic change, if you do have signs, fix your life. If you don't have signs, fix your life. If you need to figure out if what you're doing now is good enough, get a coach. Uh, get an integrated medicine doctor, get a coach, lifestyle coach, or challenge yourself by getting blood tests. Uh, seeing if you can keep up with younger individuals uh, a decade younger than you. I think that's always important. If you don't have any symptoms, God bless you. But if you do have symptoms, get yourself taken care of. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of a idea about what uh, maybe you can apply to yourself with my Q&A. If you have any questions, uh, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next Sunday.